Natalia, please tell me, do you think that Russian-speaking people can open various types of aesthetic medicine and medical wellness businesses in the United Arab Emirates and hold serious positions here? Thank you very much for the question. In fact, over the past two years, a significant number of Russian-speaking population from Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Belarus have been coming here to the United Arab Emirates, naturally, especially to Dubai, and opening various new industry-specific communities and clusters here. And of course, working in our segment, in the wellness market segment, the spa market, the cosmetology market, medical aesthetics and multi-profile medicine, we note an increased demand for the opening of such enterprises. And when it comes to comparing the level of difficulty or ease in opening a business in this location, our response would most likely be as follows. If we talk about the fact that this is another country and there are certain difficulties here, I want to tell you that here the difficulties are still smaller than in Russia because there is no such serious bureaucratic machine. Yes, there are nuances, there are some difficult elements, mainly they are related to the fact that we do not know the local legislation, they are related to the fact that the banking sector here is quite complex and everything that happens with opening accounts is quite difficult for our Russian-speaking population. But nevertheless, when you are already involved in the operational process and start managing your clinic, if you have people helping you in various, let's say, your legislative endeavors, that is, to obtain a medical license to consult on some issues related to the construction of the clinic and so on. When you already have people and people are already here, they have all uh, already arrived and have already gained certain experience and have gone their own way. Naturally, this is easier than for those people who came here earlier, there, two years, three, four years ago, and so on. Oh, be so, um, with a large number of people supporting each other, there is a cool networking here. And the Russian community, the Russian-speaking community supports each other. It has become easier. Just need to know who to contact. From work point of view, simpler, no bureaucracy, open business, just work. They let you work. And as for cosmetic clinics, uh, a huge number of Russian doctors come here. And especially Russian cosmetology is just high level here. And even Arab clinics, Arab leaders, simply hunt for Russian doctors in order to get them because they know that it is a different level of service, a different level of professionalism, a different level of execution of any procedures. And therefore, we will do everything possible to assist and help Russian doctors and Russian staff, masseurs, beauticians, nurses, to adopt, so to speak, this side in order to integrate easier. And here you can earn good money and here the price is higher and the positions are more interesting and you can create a quite interesting good product and your personal brand and the brand of your clinic. You are a well-known international expert working in the markets of Russia and European countries. You often talk about the wellness industry why are you specifically talking about this part of the industry? What is attractive and special about her for you? Thanks for your question. I position myself as an international business expert in medical wellness. Medical wellness is predicted to outpace the high-tech sector, according to global statistics. This trend is gaining momentum and starting to push out other areas in cosmetology, preventive medicine, and healthcare in general. Medical wellness combines all known areas of medicine for the public and professionals in this market. This is general medicine, yes, such a big strategic healthcare, big medicine, except of course it does not include surgical procedures. This is aesthetic medicine, cosmetology, rehabilitation, restorative medicine, sanatorium resort treatment, therapeutic physical education, and medical fitness. This is a form of medicine that focuses on prevention, also known as prophylactic medicine. This is all about all the authors, bath cultures of the world, various massage techniques from different parts of the globe. That is, it is medicine and SPA merged into a single whole and implying a person's presence in medical procedures, in medical services, in SPA conditions. And why is this trend? Because in addition to the fact that enterprises such as monopolies are opening, that is possible. 
In Europe, you have likely heard and are familiar with well-known products such as a clinic. La Prairie in Switzerland or the Shah Clinic in Spain in Alicante or the Mirana Hotel in Italy are promoting. Concepts of detox health, comprehensive body rejuvenation. The main focus of wellness is improving quality of life and extending lifespan. And oh, we can walk for a long time. Doctors treat your own illnesses naturally, how? Doctors say no healthy people, under-examined ones. So if we change lifestyle and reformat as lifestyle medicine, then we start to feel ourselves differently, live and work differently, and then perhaps we will no longer need to turn to mainstream medicine. And we can solve various tasks and help ourselves to live well, live qualitatively and be healthy for much longer than currently according to population statistics. And I am an expert in this field. I work very closely with the developer sector and the hotel segment, especially with the fitness segment. Let's talk a little about the hotel segment. Now there is a new concept called health hotel or as it is called hotel system, management health for hospitality. So this is the new future of the hotel business, which interprets the creation of hotels literally in five, 10 years. It's not long. Something like these immersive objects, like trade shops used to be, and now they have transformed into shopping centers. A person arriving at a mall obtains more than just a store visit. The same applies to hotels in the future. When a person arrives at the hotel, they will not just be buying a room to sleep, they will be acquiring various leisure attractions. Medicine will be one of them, wellness will be one of them. And this is exactly the trend that whether you like it or not, it will come. And if you do not follow him, unfortunately, your own will be overtaken. Rivals are already on this course of action. And if medical wellness is located in a hotel, thanks to this company, the hotel has such a good capitalization in general of his business. Due to the small area that integrates all these medical procedures, SPA procedures, because the client, the guest, comes to stay there for a week, two weeks, three weeks, or even longer periods of time. In this case, the synergy of the medical business, medical wellness, and the hotel business gives a double effect in monetization and the result for which the guest comes. Either he comes for some pre-court before intoxication, or he comes for weight correction, or it's a program of women's men's health, or it's mother and child, or it's a program to quit smoking, general rejuvenation, anything. There are many concepts, there are many options for creativity. I do this professionally. In Russia, we're probably number one in this matter, maybe even the only one. We're an operational management company, the creator of innovative concepts, and I hope that by coming to the UAE for this purpose, the local authorities will hear us to work on this direction, as the concept of medical wellness is currently absent here but we'll work on it. Natalia, you're a young company in the UAE. What's your strategy in the UAE market? How do you plan to develop and grow here? a round table, coffee break, and everyone had to introduce themselves and talk about themselves. And they listened. With them were representatives of serious business, including energy, oil, gas, and other relevant sectors, and so on. And they met for exchange and collaboration with representatives of Russia. And we introduced ourselves too. We told them that we are experts in medical wellness, that we work, create enterprises that help people to be healthy, happy, and we make these enterprises very conceptual embassy reps approached and said, girls, come to us in Dubai, everything you know, everything you can do, translate to Arabic nations. We thought, said, well, in principle, we don't need it there, we're fine in Russia, and everything is good and wonderful. And then it occurred that we still chose to pursue this direction, and even opted to attend the exhibition, conducted marketing research, looked. We felt that there is indeed something to work on in this location. And when we arrived here and saw that this place, you know, has um, a slightly underdeveloped market, that is from the perspective of our position, what we broadcast and what we can do, you can start from scratch with everything here. And we understand that the Arab Emirates need 
they broadcast uh, their health tourism development program. They talk a lot about it, but so far they do little in terms of real health tourism. Our strategy is to have two of them. Uh, if we're talking about the market in general, then our task is to shake up the local population and introduce the concept of health because they are currently only focused on aesthetics. They comb their hair, paint their nails, undergo Botox treatment, undergo various surgeries, there are liposuctions, blepharoplasty procedures, they undergo it frequently. They exercise in the gym, harming health by doing exercises wrong. In principle, they prioritize beauty over health. Therefore, what it will be in the future is completely unclear. We want to sow, let's say, such a useful grain in order to explain that, guys, you don't need to cut something, do operations. Yes, understood that if you're over 40, you can get Botox injections and resort to surgery after 50. Mm. If you're 30, 35, you don't need all this. Now, there's a method that will solve it painless, comfortable, beneficial to health and will give you for many years completely as if you were someone else. Natalia, please inform me, do you believe that individuals who speak Russian can establish different kinds of aesthetic medicine and medical wellness enterprises in the United Arab Emirates and occupy significant roles in this location? Maybe Europeans will join us. As this topic is closer to them, there are also many of them here. We'll discuss developing medical wellness based on hotels. You're a highly acclaimed international expert working in the markets of Russia as well as various European countries around the world. You frequently discuss the wellness industry. What is the reason for your specific focus on this particular aspect of the industry? What is it that makes it attractive and special to you? What are the unique qualities that stand out and captivate your attention? Natalia, you are a relatively young company that is based in the United Arab Emirates, a country known for its rapid growth and thriving business environment. What is your strategy in the UAE market? How do you plan to develop and grow your presence here? Now, a similar situation is present here because we interpret the word wellness in different ways. In the UAE, spa means massage rooms and a Moroccan bath. It's the same story, no difference, just a different name for the concept. And they think it's good and normal. Maybe somehow yes, but time goes forward and honestly, it's a little strange. Dubai aims to lead globally, Emirates strive to be ahead globally, Abu Dhabi desires to surpass all, yet they lag in this industry for unknown reasons. And therefore our task is to reformat, conduct training, create various channels, conduct interviews, write about it, talk about it, participate in exhibitions, give presentations and attract a little bit of business that wants to work in this segment in the same direction. Otherwise, not trendy, despite being Emirates, slightly behind. Our strategy, challenging task of starting new market from scratch. Spa is becoming a thing of the past. Now it's medical wellness.